So with your team and growing this, how do you frame, obviously, the expectation and what you get? I don't want to say how do you frame failure in a sense is, is a sloppy way of saying it, but you're obviously, you're a product developer, you're iterating. How do you get your people through the time and to keep like focused and going forward and not letting that negative feeling of like it's not working, which when it does, I always say be amazed. How do you get them through those tough times of development? All the startups I've worked on were solving a problem that I had. And yeah. so I think I, I think sometimes I see founders that are that delude themselves about their products, right? Where it's like they wouldn't yeah. use it for someone else's product, but because it's their own, they'll ignore all the warts and they'll use it. But I think if you can stay relatively sober about your assessment of how good your product is, and it is truly transformational for you, I, I think that just gives a really good bedrock of like, even in these moments, I wasn't ever... I don't think I ever expressed existential dread because I like, I've seen it work for, for myself. I saw it work for my team. I saw it work for this handful right. of beta users. So I knew there's something there.